Room Tone Podcast is a show produced by us, three movie nerds shooting the shit while talking about shooting the shit. Each episode builds upon the last, so we recommend starting at the beginning. Now, let's make a movie. Do you guys want to play a game? Let's play it. We will go around the circle, and uh, someone will start with a movie, and the next person in the circle says an actor that's in that movie, and the next person in the circle says a movie, another movie that that actor is in, and so on and so forth. So I say Jim Carrey, you say... The Mask. Maddie. Cameron Diaz. And I say uh, Night and Day. Is that Cameron I, Diaz? Yes. I think I lost because I've never seen that movie. And then you lose. And then I think I get a point. Okay. Or okay. if we don't play with points, we just kind of play. You've never played? You've never seen Night and Day? Hmm. <laughs> it's actually funny. I have <laughs> no idea what that even is. It's Cameron Diaz. It's like Diaz a dumb and, rom-com. Really? Yeah, it's, it's yeah, Cameron Diaz and Tom Cruise mm-hmm. in like a spy rom-com. Mm. Is that right? Something like that. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's the game. So who do you want to start it off? Do you want to start us off? Uh, sure. Okay. I will start us with Ben Affleck. Batman versus Superman. That fucking the guy who plays Superman. What's his name? <laughs> oh, Henry, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill, yeah. Who, how, how are we playing this That's game? Practice, That's practice the rules of the game. <laughs> 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 the guy who plays Superman. <laughs> the guy from just, The Witcher. I just got excited that I... The Witcher. The, fuck off. Well, That's uh, not a movie. Okay. <laughs> okay, do TV shows count? You know what? Let's count TV shows. Hell yeah. Just um, to broaden our net a little bit. Okay, that was a practice round. All right. Um, do you want to start us off, Maddie? Jeffrey Rush. Pirates of the Caribbean. Johnny Which Depp. One? Two. Johnny Depp. Sweeney Todd. Uh, Helena Bottom Carter. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Part one. <laughs> <laughs> Long title. <laughs> Tom Felton. Oh no. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe. Sweet Army Man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Paul Dano. The Batman. Oh, I'm really on a DC QR. You are. Is the... Oh, The Batman is Robert Pattinson. Yes. Right? Robert Pattinson. <laughs> Twilight. Kristen Stewart. Uh, personal Shopper. Check, please. <laughs> right. I, don't, I don't know that. <laughs> Actually, again, I haven't seen that one either. <laughs> I haven't either, but I know she masturbates in it, so that's exciting. We're just going to put that on the list. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Excuse me while and I write I think that she's down. like seeing ghosts or something. I don't know. Put that don't know. higher on the list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know exactly, but I knew you wouldn't know it. So. Yeah, you well done. Yeah, and I think that's kind of, that's kind of the trick is yeah. like see if you can... You know, once we're done kind of being in the rhythm, see if you can like get something that's gonna trip up the next person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, what do you guys what do you guys think? Yeah, I'll do mm-hmm. I'll do a few more rounds. Yeah, that's fun. Uh do I start? Uh you I start. Think, okay. Um do I name a movie or an actor? Uh your call. Okay. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Willem Dafoe. Being Vincent. You bitch. That's <laughs> I don't remember anyone else from being Vincent. Yeah. Mads Mikkelsen, idiot. I guess I'm an idiot, too. Mads Mikkelsen, he was in Being Vincent? That's the whole fucking reason I watched it. Wow, I think I blacked out oh. for that movie. He's like the hub priest who tells him he sucks at life. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Um, Maddie has two points. All right. <laughs> Ding, fucking shape up. Come on. I guess. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to purposefully fuck him every single time. Jillian Anderson. Sex education. Fuck, I don't know anyone's name. Yeah, no. <laughs> to be fair, they're all British. 
I don't I don't learn foreigners names. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> I don't step over my line, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a short run. I feel like you don't yeah. get a point unless it makes a full circle. Mmm, add another rule. Play, yeah, why play, not? Play a little little con. All right, all right. Okay. <laughs> play a little con or and get myself yeah. out of the point. <laughs> yeah, uh, just nobody gets a point, I guess. When we restart. Yeah, I guess so because we didn't get a rhythm. Yeah, uh, we okay. need a full. Do you want to restart us, maybe? You can start. Okay. Um, one flew over to the cuckoo's nest. Jack Nicholson. Uh, The Shining. Shelley Duvall. Good job, Austin. Uh, Popeye. And Popeye was portrayed by Robin Williams. Patch Adams. Is that true? Yeah. Was it actually? Yeah. Robin Williams? Yeah. Played Popeye? Yeah. I'm amazing. I actually, I also don't believe me. <laughs> now I'm just curious. I did right. not think that it was him. You guys don't have to believe me. Oh, we're, uh, we're Googling. It totally is. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Wow, I never would have thought that that was him. I guess I knew that somewhere. In your heart of hearts. In my heart of hearts. He okay. just looks so ridiculous. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Okay, Crazy. so Robin Williams, Patch Adams. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is Patch Adams? Patch Adams is the story of a man named Patch Adams <laughs> <coughs> uh, wanting to like help people feel better through laughter. It's the hospital clown movie. Yeah. Hmm. I've never heard of it, mm -hmm. so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know anything else about that movie. Point for you. Philip Seymour Hoffman, wasn't it? Oh. Philip Seymour mm -hmm. Hoffman. Super rad. That's going to go to my boy Jonah Hill. Stopped Kanye West for being anti-Semitic. <laughs> I don't know if anybody could stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye West literally tweeted that. No way. That Jonah Hill saved him. <laughs> Except he watched uh, 21 Jump Street. 21 Jump Street. <laughs> he literally Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Channing Tatum. Uh, Magic Mike. Matthew McConaughey. Interstellar. Matt Damon. Ooh. The Martian. Oh. Is anyone else in that movie? A lot of people mm -hmm. are in that movie. The Martian. Point for Maddie. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dude, my boy Donald Glover's in it. Oh shit, you're right. Donald That's Glover. So weird. Yeah, it is. <laughs> is that the one where he falls? Yeah. Amazing. Who's like the lady in that? Who's the love interest? I can't remember. I don't know. Is it Donald Glover? Probably. <laughs> Singing Redbone in space? Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fucking Jessica Chastain again, of course. Classic. Ooh. Jessica, Jessica Chastain. Chastain. From it. From Interstellar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not from Interstellar. Oh. Sorry. It, yeah. It, oh. Oh, the redheaded one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beverly Mash. Give Wait, me hot she's and in water. Interstellar. She's in Interstellar? Is oh, yeah. She's she's um, she's the daughter when she's grown up. Murph, yeah. She's grown up Murphy. Fuck you. Dude, what? The love interest is the daughter? That's fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> the movie's <are> fucked up. <laughs> Brendan Fraser. Mm, the whale. Fuck, who's Point the Point for Maddie? Who's the little girl? The redheaded girl from Stranger Things? Yeah, don't tell Oh, that. damn it. And he doesn't know her name yeah. for sure. Nope. Dude, that's Julia Child. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I know that's not <laughs> We're narrowing it down. Though. Dude, Good that's fucking butter. Julia Child. <laughs> she loves butter, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sticks of it on set. That's Julian. I don't think that's right. <laughs> it's fucking gross. Sadie Sa Sink. Sadie. Is it actually Sadie? Mm -hmm. Sadie Sink. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Well done. Many, you good at actors. I know. It's mm -hmm. not fair. The Matrix. Uh, Keanu Reeves. Um, 
John Wick. I don't think anyone else is in that movie. <laughs> it's, just, it's just him in the hotel room yeah. shooting guns. Yeah. Ga, 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 ga. That's right. There's like so many people in the The dog. Movie. And I just saw it if when being honest, we were watching it. If I'm being honest with you, I don't remember anyone else. Oh, Lance Riddick. I don't know who that and is. Dude, fucking, he just fucking died, dude. Show some respect. Why? He's dead. I'm so sorry. That was mean. <laughs> um, you should have saw Eric Andre skit. You would have. You would have been sorry. Damn, you're probably right. Yeah, dude. Fucking, he's hung. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Skarsgård. Oh Bill yeah. Bill Skarsgård. Ian McShane. Like the bad Lawrence guy. Fishburne. He's in. Well, I did not like that movie. Mm. Well, thank you guys for playing and kicking my ass. Yeah, you're dude, no worries. Uh, happy to wipe you up whenever you need. Thank you. I think Maddie got a few points. Austin got, I think Maddie won. Yeah, I would say Because I definitely got my butt licked. Yeah, I do. So, who really won? Was I asleep? <laughs> when did this happen? And can it happen again? But first. <laughs> Pause for room tone. <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne used to go by Larry Fishburne. Ooh. He, he thought he thought Larry's too childish. Which, <laughs> we gotta go Lawrence. Yeah, which that's pretty fucking funny. Larry Fishburne actor. Yeah, that's that's not good. Part time lawyer. Counter. Yeah, man. Yeah, Larry Lawrence, Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne's got some real fucking swag to it. Way better than Larry Fishburne. He's a fucking virgin, dude. He got it. When I wonder, does it say when he changed it? Laura, <laughs> Larry's a fucking virgin. Larry's a virgin. Lawrence has had sex at least five times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what his agent was saying. Because <laughs> look, Larry, if you want to get laid, <laughs> you're going to have to switch it up. <laughs> Go to Lawrence. You think that'll work? I mean, it, it can't get any worse. <laughs> can't get work for you, Lair Bear. <laughs> Could call me that. Could have a silly name. Yeah, it's your fault, Lair Bear. <laughs> Shape up or ship out. My name is Austin Arpeza. I'm an amateur filmmaker. And my movie slash TV show recommendation for the week will be um, Succession. Uh, ow, ow. Maddie and Swain and I actually had a little bit of a binge uh, this past weekend and we are through season two uh, of the show. I think we started it this month. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think like probably like last two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're really, we're really enjoying it. Highly recommend, especially if you want to watch rich people stab each other in the back. Fuck yeah. Yeah. If you like our story and you like vindictive family members trying to both prove themselves to their dad and uh, fuck over their dad. This is the show for you. It has everything. It has rap. Mm-hmm. It has... It has cocaine. It has cocaine. It has booty. It has booty. Oh, it has Shiv's awesome ass. Yeah. Shiv does have a good butt. <laughs> it has Tom Wom's gams. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't I, make a Tomlet without breaking a couple grays. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, so also, here's this email titled, <laughs> and you say you don't know him? My name is Maddie, and my succession alter ego would definitely be Roman. Yeah. Hell yes. Yeah. There's, it was Kendall for sure, but after Roman's uh, issues, <laughs> I would have to say Roman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, we're not gonna go i mean we can't go in depth but like oh. no spoilers yeah no spoilers I, but literally once this thing once roman did this thing i looked at maddie right away like oh my god <laughs> oh. <laughs> yo 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 do you like see the page that i'm turning here because because <laughs> you're both on it like <laughs> yeah yeah so uh, uh I, i'm very surprised that you said kendall I thought you were going to say Shiv. See, but if I had no worry about money at all, I would totally be like 
a douchebag mm. and fucking women all the time and doing coke and just being generally like that. Yeah. That's definitely what I would act like if I was a billionaire. Yeah. So. Not not even like more of like a Connor where like he kind of keeps himself. No, because I'm not fucking stupid. <laughs> he does silly things. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. You're not fucking stupid. Uh, Austin, who's your succession alter ego? Greg? Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's nothing else to that. Okay, but out of the siblings, if you had to be one of the siblings. I feel like it would still be Greg. Like, <laughs> no, out of the siblings, I get it would probably be Connor more than anything. Just because, like, I don't know. Uh, well, He's definitely the nicest. So the nicest. The nicest and also just kind of like... I feel like he has like random things to prove to himself that like aren't really relevant to anybody. <laughs> That's fair. He definitely does. But I would say mostly Greg, just because like I've had that moment where I was in a room and I wondered why I'm in a room. <laughs> right. Why I'm in this room with these people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah, it's true. My name is Austin Swain. I'm an animator and video production specialist in commercial advertising. And I think my succession alter ego is Tom Wamsgans. You think so? Yeah. Yes. Really? I'm just, uh, he's just, uh, he's just a goofball See, trying to have a good time. I will say it is hard for me to get that image of like him putting his feet up on humans. Yeah, I love that shit. And you know, he tries. I think I think he tries to be a bad boy. Yeah. I think he's doing what he thinks he should be doing. It's terrible. It it's is terrible. terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if I would take it to the lengths that he does, but I genuinely think that he's just trying to have a good time and trying to stay out of everyone's yeah. way and also trying not to get fucking eaten. I think he's the most honest rich person in the show like yeah. I remember when he was talking to Greg he's like oh dude being rich is like having a superpower <laughs> yeah you can do whatever the fuck you want like yeah. I was like he's saying it <laughs> he's like saying it out loud I guess yeah. <laughs> he stayed in the facts he, he he's he's how I think I would be rich if I like turned rich today mm -hmm. like if I like grew up poor still and then just came into a bunch of money, I'd probably be like, ha, this is so fun. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, yeah. Are you not having the greatest time? Yeah. Like I, it'd be hard for me to be like nonchalant about it. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Totally. Uh, uh, so yeah. 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 Uh, in addition to that, I brought in a limerick for you guys, mm -hmm. which I say with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm not even going to look at you when you do it. Because <laughs> the amount of fear that is in me when I come to present to my to you. Yeah. But I will just go for it. Look out, this family is hella jaded. It's Ronnie and Lonnie and Donnie and David. They on the brink, man, but they got a big plan. Bring daddy back with the blood they created. I like that. That was fun. That was fun. Uh, the end was still bad. <laughs> I, I I genuinely I really did like that. That was that was great. It felt more of a rap than a limerick. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to get you guys with the with the flow with the rhythm. Yeah, that was good rhythm. Uh, I, I liked it. Thank you. And yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, poems should have rhythm. Yeah, the endings are so hard. Definitely took a long time on that last line. When and you write this, how do you usually write it? Are you starting from beginning to end? Or like, are you kind of like, I like this word. I would like to rhyme this word with this word. Yeah, I feel like each one's kind of different. Like, mm -hmm. I kind of just get a line that I like mm -hmm. and then try to build around it. Like this one, I just wanted to say Ronnie and Lonnie and Donnie and David. Yeah. That's yeah, all that I, part was good. Yeah, that's, that's all fun. I wanted to say. That was fun. I like that. So I just kind of had to build something around that. Yeah. That was nice. Thank that was you. good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so let's jump in. What let's we, do it. What are we doing today? Um, so I think we have talked a lot about the script and kind of our adjustments both on and off the podcast. And we kind of wanted to talk a little bit more about the adjustments we made off the podcast and get everyone up to speed on where we're at in the script. Yeah, yeah, I think maybe by the 
end of this episode, Mm -hmm. uh, especially taking into account the kind of writer's room episode that we put out last week. Mm -hmm. Um, You guys will be pretty up to speed on the most recent changes to the script. And so we'll probably put out kind of like this like second draft into our production documents folder that uh, you all have access to uh, via our link tree in the description. And uh, yeah, so I think, yeah, we just kind of go through and take a look at some of those scenes that we've rewritten. And cause yeah, there are, there are some good jokes and some good dialogue. I think that we've kind of come up with that would be fun to talk about. Agreed. Uh, so yeah. How do you guys want to do this? Um, I think, we read it over once, and then we just talk about the changes. So uh, just kind of table read it? Yeah, yeah. I can be scene direction. Yeah, so yeah. So, okay, so we have direction, and then our characters are David, Zoe, and Lonnie. So yeah, we should definitely each have one of those three. I'll be Zoe if you want to be David, Austin. Sure. You'll be Lonnie. Uh, so yeah, this is scene two, when Zoe uh, first gets to the house and meets David and Lonnie for the first time. Um, And yeah, I feel like this, yeah, well, uh, yeah, we'll get into it. Let me paint you a little scene, folks. (laughs) Exterior, house, afternoon. Zoe, the caterer, approaches the house. Zoe arrives at the front step. She looks down at the slip of paper with an address on it. She looks over her shoulder. We see a wide shot of the house. She knocks. The door struggles, rattling from the effort. A man's voice can be heard shouting from the other side. Finally, the door flies open. David appears at the front door. Somebody has to fix this goddamn door! Uh, hi, I'm... Who are you? I'm Zoe. I'm the... What are you doing here? I'm the caterer. I'm catering for the funeral of... You're the caterer? Where's the food? Uh, Ronnie Brinkman. Lonnie approaches from behind David. Who the fuck is she? This is Zoe. Zoe looks back and forth, unsure whether she should answer. What's she doing here? Caterer. Where's the food? Yeah, where's the food? Uh, it's in my car. David stares. He throws two pieces of nicotine and gum in his mouth, and he says nothing. He leaves the doorway, the door ajar. Lonnie winks at Zoe and follows David into the depths of the house. Zoe hesitates between going inside or back to her car. From the street, we see Zoe walk down the stairs and off camera, leaving the house to fill the frame. Title. Zoe enters the frame with large white boxes. She's struggling to carry them. End scene. Cut! (laughs) Uh, yeah, I like that one. It's, it's, it's goofy, Mm -hmm, um, and it's aggressive. Mm. And yeah, I am excited about the cinematography we have planned for it too. Mm -hmm. That it's, it's the verbiage that I think is going to be really important here and just kind of like that delivery of back and forth. Mm -hmm. Like we really want to like give these two siblings that intimidation factor when it comes to like Zoe, like we want Zoe to kind of be on edge from the start Mm -hmm. oh yes yeah she's immediately attacked Mm -hmm. but it's like her like good naturedness that and like need for the money that just kind of pushes her forward into like continuing to try to put on that polite caterer face Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and yeah i feel like um there's a stranger things video essay they go into the pattern of how everyone is introduced in a moment of conflict. This is like a great way to like immediately start with some confrontation and like see what's see what drives people. Like yeah. David's defensive, Zoe is like uh like unerringly polite even if she shouldn't be. Mm-hmm. And super confused. Yeah. And, naive. yeah. <laughs> and Alani's just kind of like doesn't really care, but also is like here to fuck up her day. Yeah. yeah. Here. Tell that she's like going to be bad news. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, I like that scene. Same. I think it's a fun introduction. I do too. I, I, yeah, I'm really excited to play with that a little bit more. And I like our new ending where we kind of get back to a wide shot of the house and Mm -hmm. see, and see Zoe descend the stairs and walk off frame. And then we get a big, like full screen title. Like Mm -hmm. this is our like beautiful title card. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of get that moment where Zoe then like enters back in frame. And I just see her like kind of toddling with. Yeah. All of her kind of food boxes and things like that. Yeah. It feels, it's a very like Wes Anderson homage. Mm-hmm. And I like that. I do too. I like the way it looks in my head. Yeah. I, I feel like we're picturing the same thing, which makes me really excited. I think so too. Like, do you guys have a color of the font of the title in mind? 
I imagine. Wait, hang on. Do the just do you? Yeah. Okay. On the count of three, we'll all say it. All right. One, two, three. Yellow. Eggs yellow. What? Eggshell. Eggshell. You said yellow. I said light yellow. Yeah. White was my second choice. Yeah. So like somewhere in that kind of like pale, warm. Yeah. That cream. Yeah, creamy color. That cream. Pretty. All right, over, go team. Over 4,000 taste buds. <laughs> 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 That's pure vanilla. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, that was fun. Good that job. Was, I knew fun. it. I knew we'd be on the same page. Purple. <laughs> <laughs> Dark blue. Cyan. Um, and let's see it. The other scene that we've kind of rewritten is scene three, where we kind of get even a further introduction. Donnie's here and we get like the kind of cutaway scenes with David and Lonnie. Um, So, yeah, let's maybe do you guys want to start with where Donnie kind of walks in because we put a lot of more thought into kind of how Donnie enters the room and kind of begins that interaction with Lonnie and David to like really spell out the kind of family drama. Yeah, I think that's a good place to start. Yeah, I mean, it's mostly Lonnie and Donnie. Mm -hmm. I've finished a few napkin swans already. (laughs) (laughs) Donnie has just finished the tour of the house, and he walks with Zoe into the dining room with Lonnie and David in it. They're sitting around a lazy Susan with snacks. Lonnie is folding napkin swans. She has a few finished already. And finally, we have the dining room. Donnie absentmindedly grabs one of the closest swans and unfolds it to redo it. Lonnie looks side-eyed at him. This is where we all have dinner tonight, to honor our loving father. David laughs, coughing up snacks. Lonnie continues folding her swan. To honor our loving father? Donnie finishes the swan he was fixing and grabs another to fix. Lonnie throws up her hands in frustration. This is my family, technically. From a bird's eye view, David spins the Lazy Susan. The camera spins to land on Lonnie eating a cookie. She breaks it in half like it's Donnie's face. She's illuminated by a spotlight. This is Lonnie. She was dad's favorite. Lonnie's in her bedroom on her phone. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll be on the first plane. Her female lover sits up from out of frame. She may have been going down. (laughs) She may have been going down on Lonnie. We'll leave that up to interpretation. Who wants to be the female lover? I will. You always forget the female lover. I know. Here, I got it. You okay? (laughs) I think my dad just died. Lonnie turns towards her lover. How long does this shit last? (laughs) Cut back to Donnie speaking to Zoe in the dining room. And then there's David. He uh, wasn't dad's favorite. The camera spins to land on David. He's illuminated by a spotlight. Cut to David standing in public on his phone. Dad's dead? Damn. Wait, no, I can't be there next week. Just put him on ice. I'll be there in two. Do you even have the chicken? Fine, 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 fine. David hangs up the phone. We see that he's at the front of the line at a coffee shop. The barista is waiting. David slams his coffee cup on the counter. Yeah, this coffee sucks. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny every time. (laughs) Cut back to the dining room. David sits back and sips a mug of coffee. Don't forget yourself, Donnie the dickhead. A spotlight illuminates Donnie. Donnie basks in it, surrounded by his beautiful napkin swans. (laughs) Cut to Donnie knelt down, clutching Ronnie's dead body. Daddy! (laughs) (laughs) Daddy! Daddy! And cut. (laughs) Somewhere in there. All right, so let's let's talk about what we just went through. Yeah, so, <laughs> that was traumatizing. I felt like I couldn't get out of character. Right. Yeah. I right. thought you I were tasted lost in the sauce for sure. I, I, really, I really was. I thought I tasted <laughs> shitty coffee for a second, so like, I was really nervous. And here's the thing: it wasn't even that shitty. It's just no. your mindset. Yeah, I'm just a fucking dick. <laughs> I do really like the energy that this has taken on. Yes. I feel like we found how to work a lot more into the subtext. Mm-hmm. I agree. I mean, let's start with him as he kind of introduces them. Mm-hmm. You know, this is my family, technically. Mm-hmm. And like, I, I like, I remember this. We wanted to try to remember how to bring in like what these characters, like what these kind of siblings feel towards each other. Yeah. And we wanted to emphasize that like Lonnie feels 
even though she wants to help because she's daddy's little girl, like mm-hmm. she feels like she's in Donnie's shadow because he's he is a perfectionist and doesn't trust her to do anything right. Yeah. Uh, one kind of core thing we changed there uh, when we introduced them. They were like eating before, which uh, I don't believe uh, they're not eating now, are they? Yeah, they have the lazy Susan with snacks. I suppose. Oh, we, we introduced them in the living room. Yeah, true. Um, and then we moved into the dining room because we just kind of thought that made more sense to introduce the dining room since that's where that, the dinner is going to be happening. Yeah. And we had like Lonnie doing a task to like kind of really show emphasis that her character does want to like help, you know, and, and do something. Uh, for this ceremonious day. Yep. Um, and and Donnie just taking that task away from her, even though like she wasn't doing a bad job, because mm-hmm. uh, he just doesn't trust that she'll she'll get the job done. Immediately taking away what this day could be for her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just like a quick like thought, I have been really associating like Lonnie with like a bird uh, or like a bird like figure um lately as we like talk about the script what be, kind of bird i see like a little raven yeah that's yeah. yeah yeah like a little little yeah. raven like a magpie yeah totally like a cream magpie. pie all right <laughs> all right not for this girl i'm gonna come this bird <laughs> oh wow oh wow <laughs> Please don't. God. I fucking beg you. Don't call me a bird. I call my dick cracker. Does Polly want a cracker? Does Polly want it now? Please don't call your dick cracker. Yeah. Oh, okay. Brown boy. <laughs> my dick is white. I got cracker dick. That's yeah, awesome. cracker dick. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, a, that's a what? That's a Glover joke. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. What did they say? You got a crack a dick? What? Yeah. <laughs> and I love, too, like, so Lonnie's doing the napkin swans now. Donnie steals the napkin swans. And all of these, like, introductory shots, we wanted to, like, dress up and, like, be very purposeful with the set direction. Mm-hmm. And it was just kind of a happy accident to have, like, these little porcelain white perfectly folded napkin swans to like mm-hmm. surround Donnie as he yeah. is introduced <laughs> to the film. Hello, I'm Donnie, Donnie. with my swans. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm ding dong Donnie. Yeah, Donnie the dickhead. <laughs> Donnie the dong. <laughs> Donnie the dong. Wow. They called him Chip Hand in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that's still not as bad as the other joke that you pitched instead of Donnie the dickhead. What's that? <laughs> Do I even want to know? Yeah, what was the joke? You were there. Oh, I'm sure I was. I'm just blocking it out. <laughs> uh, I, which I don't even know if we'll put this on the podcast, but yeah. the joke you pitched was, what if he just calls him the N-word? <laughs> <laughs> Is hard R. <laughs> I forgot. I like, I like everyone like is like shocked by it. Yeah, like, he's like Jesus. Jesus. Everyone wants to put it back, yeah. but like he just doesn't see it. But no one wants to bring it up. Like, yeah, what a character <laughs> trait. Jesus. Uh, so we went with dickhead. <laughs> 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 Just how you said it to <laughs> the N word. <laughs> That's pretty much how you said it. That was like the exact delivery. It was flawless. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what if? <laughs> yeah, he's a real. <laughs> He's a real N-word. Yo! It's never mentioned. Oh, do you gotta delete this episode, please? Yeah, the whole, just the whole thing. The whole episode. It's, it's covered in sin. Yeah. It is. It's gonna That's need a fair. lot of black Sharpie before it hits the market. Yeah, no kidding. Redacted. Redacted. It's oh. covered in sin. <laughs> oh, uh, God. It's like, well, that might be the episode title. 
Covered in sin. I love oh, that. I love that too. Um, <clears throat> oh my God. I love that it's something he said. I know. That's his favorite joke. <laughs> that's fair. That's how I am too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, imagine the theater full of people who watch our show. <laughs> okay. The theater full of people. <laughs> For our short film? Absolutely. It'll happen. It's like we have a QA. Yeah. I, have a, I have a question. What the so, fuck was up with that? <laughs> so, why the other one? That was a creative choice. <laughs> Next question. Explain. <laughs> no further questions. But why did you choose it? Because I felt like it. Because it's funny. Because it made me giggle. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make you shocked. It made me shocked. <laughs> All the shock factor, baby. <laughs> Holy fuck. Be nuts. Other honorable be mentions. Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nuts. <laughs> that would totally be nuts. I know I should have brought it up. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish that could be like your trigger for yeah. us to start giggling. <laughs> if anybody says the N word, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's your fucking breaking point. <laughs> say it again. Say it again. <laughs> Fuck, dude, it's an inside joke. I can't help it. All right, let's get yeah, this. This video has to be burned. Uh, and yeah, deal. <laughs> uh, another bit that I that we you know put some time into in our last session was uh, specifically David's introduction. Lonnie's has pretty much stayed the same. It's like she's a badass lesbian. What else is there to say? Yeah. Um, but yeah, David kind of like really ramping up his like assholiness and his like dismissal towards the importance of this event. His assholiness. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's just sticker. really emphasizing that he's a dickhead. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, you were the one who pitched it like pretty much like this. Mm -hmm. And we're like, fuck, yeah, write that down. Like, yeah. we just tried to write it down as fast as we could before we forgot it. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's like him on the phone in front of this coffee line. I think it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. um, but what I really like also about it is that we like built in this like foreshadowing into like what this <laughs> event is going to be. Yeah. Like, ah, just put them on ice. I'll mm -hmm. be there in two weeks. Yeah. You, you can keep the body cold. And then do you even have the chicken? Like, the first watch through, you're like, what the fuck is this guy? Yeah. Totally. And then you finish it and you watch it again and you're like, the oh, chicken. <laughs> this guy's a murderer. Ooh. He's a murderer. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm proud of us and it feels fun. Hell yeah. I agree. Those, those are some of the bigger changes that uh, we've been excited about and, mm -hmm. uh, it's only going to keep, I feel like with the second pass, we really are like nailing down into what we want this film to be. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I am too. I'm really excited uh, about the changes and I'm really excited to, to see where the film's direction keeps going. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. I think that's the episode for today. Yeah. Update, uh, sorry. Just really quick updated script and uh, the storyboard that we worked on in the last series are linked in our link tree. Yeah. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, Posting content every week, cueing you into what's going on in the episode and having fun. We want to hear your comments. We want to hear what you want to say. Comment on the post and let us know what you think. Ooh. But until then, pause for room tone. Before you pause for room tone, don't forget to check out our merch site. Our merch site has everything. We have t-shirts. We have we have we have hoodies. We have hoodies. Pullovers. Stickers. We got stickers. I'm adding ass holiness to our sticker collection. We're adding ass holiness to our, to, our, to the sticker collection. <laughs> we yes sir. Let's ring the cowbell. Woo! Bing bong. Bing, bing, bing. All, all money, all proceeds go to making another short film. We're going to make this short film with that money. I'm really excited. Uh, thank you, Roomies, for tuning in. Uh, that's the end of the show. That's the end of the episode. We're done. We're done. Pause for room tone. <laughs>